Welcome back to the channel. Today we're taking a deep dive into how new AI laws are reshaping innovation, exploring groundbreaking cancer research using federated learning, and addressing surprising findings on how AI might be impacting your brain. We'll do it long-form style, featuring candid conversations with the people behind the headlines. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you enjoy this deep dive. I'm Dobr Dovid, Sidobr Jensjorn. AI is no longer the Wild West. Colorado passed America's first comprehensive AI law, Senate Bill 24-205, but its implementation has been pushed back. Originally slated to take effect in early 2026, the law's compliance deadline is now June 30, 2026, giving lawmakers time to simplify the risk management requirements. And in California, Governor Newsom signed the Transparency and Frontier AI Act, which forces developers of frontier models to publish safety frameworks and disclose how they prevent catastrophic risks or face fines up to $1 million per violation. Meanwhile, at the national level, Executive Order 1.179 demands a 2025 AI action plan to safeguard leadership and invites public input on hardware, data centers, energy use, open source models and AI risks. Why should you care? To help us unpack what these laws mean for developers and companies, I spoke with Dr. Ali Farhadi, CEO of the Allen Institute for AI and one of the leaders pushing responsible AI forward. Ali, Colorado and California just raised the regulatory stakes. How do you see these laws influencing the pace of AI innovation? Regulation isn't the enemy of innovation. It's the scaffolding that makes skyscrapers possible. When we launched Asta Data Voyager, we designed it to meet scientific standards of accuracy and transparency. The Frontier Model regulations basically ask developers to do the same. Document safety, publish tests, and show how you mitigate harms. They may slow down cowboy coding, but they will build trust, which is essential for AI's future. Data Voyager's philosophy echoes the new laws. It's an AI tool that lets researchers query structured data sets in plain language and receive clear answers, reproducible code, and transparent methods. In other words, it bakes accountability into the tool itself. Now let's pivot to health. The Cancer AI Alliance, CAIA, a coalition of Fred Hutch, Dana Farber, Johns Hopkins, and Memorial Sloan Kettering, just unveiled a federated learning platform to accelerate cancer research. Instead of moving data to a central server, it sends code to the data. That protects patient privacy and allows collaboration across institutions. Jeff, can you explain how federated learning is changing cancer research? It means doctors can ask complex questions across multiple hospitals without sharing sensitive records. We send code to each center's data, learn locally, then bring back aggregated insights. Clinicians can query outcomes of immunotherapy or rare cancer trends as easily as typing a question into a chatbot. Federated learning is helping us respect privacy while scaling discovery. That's huge. Federated learning could become the blueprint for medical AI. Kaya is launching with eight projects, including studies on how patients respond to immunotherapies and how different treatment sequences affect outcomes. Major tech companies donated compute power, including Microsoft and Amazon. This collaboration shows how AI regulation and innovation can coexist. Privacy by design paired with rigorous research. AI can also take a toll on our brains. A new MIT Media Lab study monitored 54 participants who wrote essays either unaided with a search engine or with ChatGPT. Those relying on ChatGPT had the weakest brain connectivity, reduced memory recall, and felt the least ownership of their work. In contrast, people writing without AI showed stronger neural networks and higher engagement. Over four months, 
ChatGPT users underperformed at neural, linguistic, and behavioral levels, it raises questions about how AI might erode critical thinking. Natalia, your study has stirred conversation. What's the takeaway for professionals who use AI tools daily? Our results aren't saying don't use AI. They're a caution about over-reliance. Participants who used AI and then switched back struggled to recall and engage. We need to design systems that augment, not replace, cognitive effort. Think of AI like a calculator. It's invaluable for big numbers, but if you can't do simple math anymore, you lose something. Use AI wisely, let it free you for higher level thinking rather than letting it think for you. On the cutting edge of large language models, Upstage, a Korean startup, released Solar Pro 2, a 31 billion parameter model recognized as South Korea's first frontier model. CEO Sung Kim boasts that they match US and Chinese performance while using only 10% of the chips. This shows how cost-efficient innovation can level the playing field. Sung, what makes Solar Pro 2 stand out? Scale matters, but efficiency matters more. We focused on reasoning ability and agentic tasks. That's why we can achieve comparable benchmarks with fewer resources. It's a new chapter for Korean AI. Solar Pro 2 proves smaller players can compete. It also hints at a future where efficient hardware design and optimized training become as important as raw scale. Big tech is betting big on AI. Salesforce announced a $6 billion investment into its UK business by 2030 to become an AI hub and build its first AI center in London. Alibaba is doubling down with a 380 billion yuan, $53 billion program to expand its AI infrastructure and develop models like Quen3 Max, while opening new data centers in Brazil, France, the Netherlands, Mexico, and beyond. These numbers signal confidence, but also risk. A separate MIT study found that 95% of AI projects deliver no return on investment. Investors, beware the hype. Anand, what's driving these massive investments? We're in an AI arms race. Companies fear being left behind, but there's a mismatch between spending and value creation. Too many projects chase hype instead of solving real problems. So while billions flow into data centers and models, caution and strategic focus are critical. The winners will be those who balance innovation with clear, measurable outcomes. One last story. Ford isn't an AI company, but its new universal EV platform shows how hardware and software co-evolve. Ford is betting $5 billion to build a mid-size electric truck using a radical assembly tree process that cuts parts by 20%, reduces workstations and speeds assembly by 40%. The truck will debut around 2027 with a target price of $30,000. It's a reminder that AI-driven design and automation are transforming even century-old industries, from lawmakers to lab researchers, CEOs to cognitive scientists. The story of AI is complex and human. Regulations are catching up. Federated learning is curing cancer, and we're learning to protect our minds in a world of helpful but powerful tools. I hope today's long-form journey gave you insight into both the promise and the pitfalls. If it did, hit that like button and share with friends. Who would you like me to interview next? Let me know in the comments. And don't forget to subscribe for more in-depth explorations of data science and AI. Until next time. Keep questioning. Keep learning.